Indian, for that matter. Mm -hmm. And down to Pakistan, we started getting a little bit of difficulty, uh, although we were fairly good about when Musharraf was going to leave. We were off by a day. Well, only a day, yes. <laughs> yeah, six months out, though, so that was pretty good. That was very good. Uh, but in any event, the current situation is not over, and that's something that needs to be stressed, is that we're still within from the midnight on the November 26th mm -hmm. uh, through to about, let's say, December 14th. It runs a ways into the month, I remember. Yeah. Correct. We're, we're into a period of time where military will flare up to rival economic uh, woes in all of our uh, daily consciousness. Isn't it so, interesting, if I might uh, just jump yeah. in here, the, uh, the issue of the largest theft in human history continues to unfold and be force-fed to the, uh, the hundreds of millions who read the uh, controlled media. And yet our uh, energies are all and, directed and, elsewhere. And yet our energies are, are directed at, and, and, and bless them all who died, uh, 150 to 200 yeah. people. Yeah. But my God, as I've said many times, 45,000 a year die on America's highways, and nothing is said about that. And yet 150 or 200 people die halfway around the world, and, and the, the media, media becomes, can't shut up about uh, it. Cannot yep. contain itself, control itself. Of course, it's not supposed to. Uh, that's the issue. It's to keep right. uh, to keep the herd looking this way and looking that. Uh, in all things uh, rational, 150 people dying is is uh, one uh, 757 going down. In fact, a lot less. Yeah. Uh, so what we have here is is an issue that is extremely dynamic, and as you say, it is truly global. We're no longer uh, contained uh, in terms of uh, geographic locations, and your work does speak. To the larger venue of which uh, of which we inhabit here, it always uh, seems to. And we are unfortunately uh, still being uh, wagged by the tail, even though we're <laughs> wagged, dog being these thrown days. around into the wall. <laughs> yeah. Boom, bam. Yeah, yeah. And it's uh, as I say. Now we have to be prepared for this because the United States, our term uh, steps up somewhere between the fifth uh, through the fourteenth. We'll be in the latter third of. of what we uh, had thought of as, as 17 nasty days here. Mm -hmm. uh, the intensity for us should peak around the 12th. Mm -hmm. uh, may involve oh. accidents, but it also might involve something uh, just as nefarious. I'm not saying that we have any data suggesting that, other than we have the same kind of data, same kind of numbers for an increase in military tension, if you will, within uh -huh. the U.S. Uh -huh. that we saw after midnight on the 26th, which turned out to be the attacks in Mumbai. Right. Well, to help protect all of you folks out there, in case you missed it, the Pentagon is uh, ready to deploy within the next year 20,000 uh, combat troops right here in River City to make sure we're all safe from uh, yeah. terrorists. Uh, 20,000 military to be deployed. Posse, what was that term again? We don't have that anymore. Uh, it's a, no. It's, uh, it was Latin to begin with, and it, which is a dead language, and now the concept uh, is dead. Yeah. However, let me also point out, that 20,000 people is, uh, uh, you know, 20,000 troops is merely a scare tactic. Yep. 20,000 troops concentrated on one small burg uh, certainly would cause a serious amount of damage, but 20,000 troops intended to garrison the United States is an absurdity. When they uh, own the media, it becomes uh, a uh, a bigger issue, uh, as correct. you know. They're they trying to that... generate fear with it. And, it's and, all fear. Yeah. All fear, absolutely, and the, the destruction of Posse Comitatus, uh, finally, and uh, and once and for all. The uh, the issue of 20,000 troops is the number of uh, of Obama and uh, his handlers. Uh, there's their new surge into Afghanistan. They're going to push another 20,000 over there. Uh, it gets These people just don't learn from history. Afghanistan has <laughs> destroyed the British Empire. They, people barely got out of alive out of hundreds of thousands that kept attacking right. them. Correct. Uh, I remember one the re one retreat from Kabul. I think uh, every last man except one they let one go. I think to tell Correct. the story. Correct. That was like forty five thousand dead over the course of that particular campaign. Correct. Correct. Yeah, yeah. They let one go to tell the story. Uh, yeah. Those were British subjects, though. Which in a subject is another word meaning, uh, in e in essence, an object, a slave. Correct. And theoretically, the citizens of the United States are not subjects. But nonetheless, we find ourselves repeating the same old problems of empire. Always. Be right back in just a minute with Cliff.
Okay, back with Cliff from HalfPassHuman.com. I urge you to stop by there and subscribe if you can. It is, uh, it's absolutely fascinating reading. I usually read them twice because there's so much there. They okay. have a tendency to get a bit dense, yeah. They're, oh, they're, well, it's a, it's a great ride, whatever you want to call it. The, uh, the issue of financial collapse, which you and George called literally to the day October 7th, 8th, when it all began to overtly and obviously to the world uh, go over the abyss, into the, into, the, uh, into the ether, as it were. You guys nailed that one. Um, we're looking, I guess, as you pointed out back then, to things going on into early February in terms of their, their intensity. I'm wondering if that's changed, and I'm also wondering what, what interpolation you may derive from the data that may point to the installation of King Obama? Um, the, uh, the, actually, we had initially figured it would go in until March, and that, that has shortened up. And it, so the current level of intensity of the emotional release language, most of it focused on economic, but now we're getting this little wave of military thrown in, mm -hmm. will continue to about February 14th. As far as the installation of Obama and his uh, crew, we can essentially say, well, you know, meet the new boss, same as the old boss. You got because, it. Yeah. Because of who they're bringing in, in there. However, the um, accuracy of the forecast that the politicos had made about this, quote, test, from our data, seems to be fairly on, on spot. Elaborate, a, if you would. Correct. Well, it's going to show up around the 22nd, we think. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the 22nd, we have a little... Uh, we've been in this release language uh, drop at a fairly uh, even pace, if you will, fairly same group of intensity figures and so on that gave us an almost uh, a nice ramp-like uh, chart for a while. Mm -hmm. But it changed, and we're going to have a little stair-step business hit us around the 22nd, 23rd, and on that, those particular days, we're going to have a little drop in release language, so everybody, there will be some kind of a small event or a uh, set of circumstances that get everybody talking real quickly. In December? Uh, uh, in January, sorry. So you are uh, talking right after right the inaugural? Just, just right okay. afterward. The main, main yeah. break comes on January 26th, but basically they're from the 22nd through to the 26th, there's these little stair steps in our huh. data that show this kind of uh, release tension, release tension, release tension. I wouldn't want to characterize it uh, by saying it was going to be like a particular event in the past because we don't know that the flavor is going to be the same, and, and we would unfortunately give that impression. Uh -huh. So I, I, trying to describe it is very difficult because I can't say, for instance, it's going to be the like uh, the day that uh, the week that that Castro took over from Batista. Okay, it's not going to be like that, but it mm -hmm. may have share same some of the same characteristics in terms of emotional tension mm -hmm. here in the United States. Mm -hmm. Now, so so some kind of event is certainly going to occur. We expect it'll be very visible to us on the morning of the 23rd, cause everybody here to talk about it for a day, and then we're going to go into a day of building tension over the course of the 24th that will get us sort of all kind of wondering how we're going to react to it, what's going to happen. Then further things will occur late on the 24th and in the 25th, and then we're going to go into a rather steep drop, an acceleration in release language hmm. that runs from the 26th of January all the way through to the February 14th, and then we go into a, for, into a, in a building tension that lasts for a number of weeks. And now, we right. remember that Colin Powell said that uh, there will be a, quote, challenge to uh, to President Obama on, on, I think he said, the 21st or the 22nd. Right. Uh, and it's like, boy, they sure know. There's no question about it. Yeah, and, and these people actually saying these things in, in, uh, in public, uh, it's rather amusing to watch. They're not even, they're either stupid, which I don't think, or they're just, they don't give a damn, and they're just telling us. I mean, it's bizarre. There may be some other motivation there in, as well, in the sense that it's awful hard to keep giant conspiracies uh, secret. Mm -hmm. And thus we have all the huge amount of information that you yourself have participated in spreading throughout the, the planet about all of these giant conspiracies that are all around us. Mm -hmm. It's not that they're secret, it's that so many people are in denial of their meaning on their daily life. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. it may well be the case that uh, they know something mm -hmm. and they also are for their own purposes Mm -hmm. releasing certain amounts of that information, either in harmonization or or in opposition to the flow of that main event. 
Uh, so in other words, <coughs> they may well want to have specific warnings out there for specific times, and they don't really care so much if the general populace gets it because so many people are going to be in active denial about it. And when it occurs, the, so many people will be in active denial about having been forewarned by these mm -hmm. politicos some mm -hmm. months out, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even down to the day, perhaps. So well, we it, remember Biden's words as well. Uh, yeah. Here they are. I'll just for those of you who, who don't remember, mark my words. Yeah. Biden said in San Francisco, "We're going to gird our loins." What I, really got yeah. me about Biden's speech? I uh, actually it was up here in, in the Northwest in, in Tacoma. It was at a private um, or Seattle Tacoma area. Uh huh. I had a private a, uh, a fundraising deal before the election. But what got me about his speech? was we had no sooner, I think a few weeks before then, come out with our language for entering into an epic period here, and look at the content of that particular speech. <laughs>